Right question one should be relatively straightforward. We need to put these numbers in order of size. So just a simple thing, let's start with the, the one that's the most negative, uh, minus 10. I'm just going to cross it off so I know I don't uh, use it again. Then we've got minus 7. Then I've got minus 5. Uh, then I've got 0. And then I've got 4. Oh, the computer's just uh, frozen a little bit. There we go. Oh no, we've gone frozen again. Four. Okay. Now we need to write these in order of size. Well, I think the easiest thing to do with these is to write them out, but line up the decimal points. So use the space really carefully. So 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5. Okay. So we're going to compare this. So let's start with the smallest. Well, one way of doing it is you can either do it in your head or you can think you can fill up the gaps. So the longest number was three decimal places long. So let's make them all three decimal places long and then we can compare them. So if we look down the list, if we look down this list, we've got five, two, two. So this is clearly the biggest. Look at the next numbers. We've got two zero, two five, two zero. So it's between this one and this one. So we've got two zero zero and two zero five. So clearly this is the smallest one. So put that on first. Not point and use the number that they started with without the extra zeros. That's just to help us. Uh, and then it's two five versus two zero. We knew this one. Vex then. Not point. 2, nor 5, and then we've got a 2, 5 versus a 5, 2, so this is smaller, 2 is smaller than 5, 0 0.25, 0 0.52, and then we're done. 